The NFL on EA Sports brings us to the banks of the Ohio River and Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. set to go Evan McPherson to do the honors and we are underway from Cincinnati and he returns this to the 22 the Saints take over first and 10 at their own 22 yard line They begin with a run by Miller. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second and four. Carr. He gets it complete to A.T. Perry. Still going inside the 20. Touchdown, New Orleans. A.T. Perry, 72 yards. And the Saints go down the field in just two plays to take the early lead. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big Rookie shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. Extra point right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. Here we go. Burrow and the Bengals with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. And that one caught down field by Burrow. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. And that one results in 35 yards. Defensive talk one-on-one. -on -one. Don't let the quarterback out of the pocket because when that happens, yeah, you may shrink the field with your defense, but it's so easy to lose someone on the backside. And he finds him and picks up a big game. A throw for Boy, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Alante Taylor. And he will bring this across midfield to the 49-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. Trying the left side with Camaro, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. They'll try to run for it with Miller. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Carr. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Trey Hendrickson showing off his pass rush repertoire that time. 
On second down, Kamara. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean they're also just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Now Carr. That one thrown across his body, and it's incomplete. Maybe a little over-anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't, because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. And his kick is good. Cool. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. Here we go, here we go. Since the offense about ready to go here on their next drive. They find themselves down 10-0 early after the interception on their opening drive led to a field goal. So now they've got to pick up the mantle a little bit. You mentioned the team's down 10. They've helped contribute to that. How are they going to get their team back into this ball game? Run the offense that you think is going to be effective and execute it at a high level. They go play action with Burrow. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. On third down, Burrow. He's got his target. That's complete. Well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up the first down. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Burrow will throw. And that's going to be caught. T. Higgins. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 10-0 to score after one on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from Cincinnati. It's the Bengals with the football here as they've got it with a first and 10. going to throw again and he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete the good signal callers would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him but on that last one his offensive line they lost their leverage very quickly and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it up for you. And the Bengals are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Now Burrow. Open man is Higgins, and he's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Bengals have cut it back within a score. Evan McPherson now for the PAT. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. Now 
after the touchdown. McPherson on to kick this one away. Now they can't bring him down. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Now Carr. Being chased out left. Down the left sideline. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Well, here's your first example of how this guy can beat you in more ways than one because they took away his arm, but he was more than happy to dissect them with his legs for that first down pickup. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. Second and 11. Now Carr. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. All about the offense so far this drive, putting something sustained together. But the defense, they responded on that play. Second and manageable became third and long. The drive marching to the end zone is one play from stalling out. On third down, Miller. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. Car going to throw. On his horse. And he's going to get it down to the 14-yard line. A big pickup there. 20 yards as they convert on fourth. First down, Saints. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. Inside handoff now. Miller. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Second down and three. Ball on the seven. They'll run it again with Miller. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here's Carr to throw. Flush to his right. He throws it on the move but can't connect. He's in for his incomplete. Well, the best don't mind making tough throws, but that was a real difficult one right there. Out of the pocket, trying to beat double coverage. More times than not, that's going to end up as an incomplete pass, if not worse. And his kick is indeed good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner? Because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. 
Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Gun, gun. The Bengals drive about to get going. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think what we'll he's got a man complete. Look at the big fella go. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Herb Smith Jr. in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bengals have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead into the locker room. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that will give him the lead here as we get on towards halftime. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Bengals set to receive. They have the lead and the football to begin quarter number three. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought the first half... They didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Here we go, here we go. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. 11, 11, 11. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. And this one too low. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet. But they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management. There he goes, right side. A big play there for Cincinnati. 53 yards. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Now it's Burrow. This is caught. And he's brought down. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now Burrow changing things up here. They go play action here on first down. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty oh, on. They'll look to oh, reverse that trend on second and goal. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Here we go, here we go, here we go. So can this New Orleans defense stand tall again? Third and goal. 11, 11. Stop. Play action. It's Burrow. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. 
So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. He couldn't get the ball away on fourth and goal. And the Saints able to come up with a goal line stand. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say it was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Throwing his car on third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 32-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. Defensively, Sam Hubbard, the former buck guy, there to stop him. And now they're in the hurry up. Now Carr throwing on second down. Dancing to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure. And it's a loss of six. And that's his second sack in this one. And he just can't ask the defensive end or an edge rusher to play any better than what we're seeing right now. And partner, it's still just the third quarter. I'm thinking he's not done yet. Even if he's not getting a sack, he's bringing a lot of pressure to the pocket. They set up the screen to Miller. He's into space past the 25. And down to the 19-yard line. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Cincinnati. And we've got a dandy here. A one-point game as we begin the fourth. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. A give to Camaro running right. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Some big plays in the passing game on this drive. And here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. And the question now, how do they want to work the clock here on first and goal? A field goal would give them the late lead. Kamara. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. So they've been in the red zone three times and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Juwan Johnson, a five-yard touchdown. And the Saints put together a fourth-quarter drive to take the lead. This is why a lot of play callers love play action in this spot. You just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second. Then you've got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. A big spot now for the Saints as they'll indeed go for two. And they'll turn to Kamara. And he will get into the end zone for the two points. And that helps. That gives him a seven-point lead. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here we go. 
The Bengals drive about to get going. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Mixon with a first down carry. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Burrow's throw here into the hands of Boyd. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That'll put him at 77 yards receiving for the ball game. It's a first down. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. And his throw here is incomplete. Offense is moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they're in a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. 11 mighty, 11 mighty. Now it's Burrow. That is caught. And he is going to have the Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve. Throw one to him every so often, but mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such... That's to Chase. He's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Jamar Chase, 28 yards. And the Bengals are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. This one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And this taken in at the goal line. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. This is first and 10. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. They've got it first and 10 as they search for a go-ahead score. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Second down, eight yards to go. They keep it on the ground. This time, it's Miller. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down.
Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Now a handoff. Here's Camaro. And the big boys up front. They're going to stop him right at the line. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. Another try from the 19, second and 10. They run it again with Kamara. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. All right, my man, this is now where it's risk reward. Because on defense, you've got to crowd the line of scrimmage. You've got to get in all the gaps, get up tight on everyone, and try and force the field goal attempt here. You can't let them break one big, but you know something when you crowd the line of scrimmage. If they do pop one, it's going to go. Yeah, as I said, could take it to the house, but the magnitude of this possible upcoming field goal, every yard counts. <laughs> got a quick flash about being in their huddle. Whatever the play call was, it was tagged with these words. Make sure you stay in the middle of the field. That's where we want to be. And he did just that. And we are set for a great finish as that timeout comes in with two seconds to go in this football game. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. Two seconds on the clock. This for the win. And his kick is good. He knocks through his third field goal of the game in this one. It